away with anything, but someone was shot in that robbery and then now uh, someone has been carjacked. We don't know uh, if the victim of the carjacking is still in the vehicle or uh, has gotten out safely, uh, but we do know that they're multi-agency following this chase right now. And uh, Aaron, where is he now? It looks like he, is he getting on a freeway? Mm. He's on the north side of the 105 freeway there. He's, uh, he's approaching Alameda Boulevard. Actually crossed over Alameda Boulevard. He's on the, the, uh, the major street on the north side of the 105, and he's eastbound right now. So he hasn't left the neighborhood, but he is on the northern edge of that area where he's been circling all uh, the last few minutes here. Okay. And now he's headed northbound into what appears to be a housing project. So we may see an attempted foot bail here shortly. All right. Um, looks like, well, no, I was going to say it looks like he may have reduced his speeds, but well, perhaps. Like, ooh, it, you know, and it makes me so nervous when each time I see pedestrians and, you know, people Absolutely. on bikes, people on the sidewalk there. Uh, really, it is amazing that he hasn't caused uh, more destruction yet yeah. because of uh, his driving. He's been driving fast, blowing through red lights, blowing through stop signs, intersections, not obeying any traffic laws, obviously, uh, driving on the wrong side of the street and, and driving very fast. Uh, there are a lot of speed bumps in the area that he's uh, driving in now. It looks like he just missed a pedestrian there. Uh, and it's slowing him down a little bit, but, but still hardly. He's very, driving very unsafe still. We've got one unit right behind him, uh, but he's driving so fast in an area that's populated. We've got other people out there. We've got lots of drivers, lots of cars and pedestrians as well. So uh, it's really a dangerous situation for everyone involved. And Lena, we're just hearing, you know, um, earlier the uh, sergeant that we were talking to, Bob Dunn from Anaheim PD, told us that um, that carjacking happened near Cal State Fullerton. We understand now that uh, that campus is on lockdown. Uh, there is a lot of police out there. They've closed the campus down, and that is presumably because uh, there are some other suspects that are outstanding. They're trying to track those people down. But again, we started out with five suspects out in Moreno Val Valley at that, uh, at that armed robbery, and we know that one of them is driving this vehicle right now, but we don't know, uh, we're not sure what happened to the others, and that's why uh, they are taking no chance out at Cal State Fullerton near where this car was carjacked. Um, so we've got various crime scenes right now. We've got Moreno Valley and we've got that exit off the 57 and then we have uh, everything that's happening right here uh, with so many units in pursuit of this car that uh, is, uh, is oh, driving. Okay. okay. That so he's uh, taking out... Okay, he's you he's in a housing project. It's just north of the 91 freeway here, just on the eastern side of Watts. He's about one major block west of Alameda Boulevard. You can see him running on foot. There are officers in all directions around this project, and you can see a lot of people watching here. They, they knew this was going on. There's a police officer right there turning him back to the south. There's going to be more police officers converging from other directions because there are police that have pulled in. Okay, now he's going to give up on the baseball diamond. You can see you've got yeah. sheriffs. You've got, uh, looks like possibly LAPD, and this man is being taken into custody right here on the baseball diamond in the middle of a housing project yeah. after a very short foot pursuit. It looks like he ran about maybe 100 yards from where he bailed out of the vehicle. No chance of getting away. And what about the, what about the vehicle, Aaron? Do we know if anyone else was in that car? I don't know if you have a view of it. You know, I didn't right see. Now. It looked like, to, to, from my vantage point, it looked like only the driver got out of the car. All right. Well, and look at all those officers uh, on the scene there. Obviously, when we were following just the car, it was hard to see exactly um, how many units were behind him, but you had a lot of law enforcement in the area ready to jump on this guy as soon as he jumped out, and, and really that's what uh, they did after a very quick uh, foot pursuit. Um, but the suspect is being taken into custody, and we'll wait to see... Um, what they find out, because it was five reported suspects in this armed robbery in Moreno Valley, one was already taken into custody after they bailed out of their first car, and now this driver has been taken into custody, but we've got three others uh, unaccounted for at this point. And here's what it looked like just a moment ago when he bailed out. Uh, this was uh, just north of the 91 in, in the, the Watts area housing project. Um, after circling uh, throughout the area for the last 10 minutes or so, uh, all right, there you have high it. speeds making all kinds of uh, dangerous, erratic moves. Pursuit and engine out Watts. And was quickly taken into custody by a whole swarm of uh, police officers and law enforcement uh, officers from several different agencies.